In MathCAD, you can pass multiple inputs to an advanced control. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in a MathCAD worksheet. I already have a couple of slider inputs. That's just so that I can easily change the input values that I want to send to an advanced control. Let's create our advanced control. I will go to the input output tab, and then I will go to the advanced dropdown. And this one is going to be a text box. So I will click on the sheet. First, I have a placeholder for the variable name for this placeholder, excuse me, for this advanced control. Let me call it result for lack of a better term. And now I'm going to right mouse click and add inputs. And right now I just have one placeholder. So I have two different variables that I want to pass, stress and yield strength. Well, I can type in stress. And then to add in a second input, we can go to the matrices tables tab and then insert right. Now I have a second placeholder and I can type in the name of the other input, the other variable that I want to pass to it. Let me make the box a little bit wider for now just so that you can see both of them. Now that I have both of these inputs passed to the text control, let me show you how you can assign them to variables. I will right click on the advanced control and choose edit. And here we have the script editor tab in the dialog box. I'm gonna go down to the execute area for inputs and outputs. And let me position my mouse over to the left of the outputs line. I'm going to add in a couple of blank lines. Let me move my cursor up and I'll type the space bar four times just so that my text will line up. And first we're going to define a variable. So I will type in variable and then the name of a variable. And for lack of creativity, I'm going to type in the name S for stress. S is going to be equal to, and then I'll put inputs and then open bracket zero, and that corresponds to the first input, and then dot and value, and then the colon key. Let me use the cursor key to go to the next line. Once again, I will type in four spaces, and then var, and then I'll use ys for the yield stress, and this is going to be equal to inputs. And then I'll do the open bracket and then the number one, and this will correspond to the second input, again, because the indexing starts with the number zero, and then dot value, and then a colon key. And then below here, I could do whatever I want to in terms of math or whatever kind of results that I want to do in this text box. But this is just how you can add multiple inputs to the text box and then assign them to variables for use within here. Let me close out of there. And the last thing to mention is that there's this little minus sign. So if you just want to have the text box but not see the inputs on your sheet, you can use the minus sign to collapse it. And if you don't want to see the left side from the input output tab, we can hide the left side and so there we have it. And if you want this to be left justified so we don't have that space there where the variable name was, you could collapse the left side instead. And that way we just have the text box and we're not seeing the name of the variable or the inputs that are being passed to it. So there you have it. That's how you pass multiple inputs to an advanced control.